Does anyone have any questions? Why are you gay? Hi guys and welcome back to Wackles Review, the only YouTuber that has five baby mamas. Oh, as I was speaking, I just added six to my collection, guys. I am so happy. If you want to join the collection, please subscribe and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I post. Like this video also and roll intro. As this season 3 is out, but before we get into the new season, let me give you one of the quickest recaps you've ever seen in your life. He was a psycho, this other guy fought a psycho and proved to all the girls that because you have packs doesn't mean you can fight. Because he needed girls to help him fight also. Is this what you got like? Six packs? That's why I remain packless, guys. They killed him and buried him, and on the next day, she was arrested. But now, in the new season, we still follow the life of Ron T, who is now like an ex-convict. I don't know if she went to jail or prison. But not because of murder, but because she stole the blog from Ubi. She comes out from prison and gets a hug from a friend, and it's like complete silence from here on. All we hear is the ambience of beds and one guy shouting, subscribe, guys. Then we see the title card. I won't lie, I, I like the beat. It sounds like someone is about to drop the hardest bar. <laughs> Come on! After the title card, Ronti still looks depressed and I think it's because of her blog and the fact that it has turned into 90% of the blogs on Instagram. Just a bundle of negativity filled with clickbaity posts and guys who can't wait to call out Chimamanda. But the show isn't just about Ronti, there is this other guy called Toju who is the CEO of Trikara. It sounds like a magic thing because I don't know how to pronounce it but it's like tri Trika. Trikara. But this guy is a funny man. He doesn't accept interviews because he's a CEO in Nigeria, so you know. And I can't blame him because of how unprofessional some presenters are. This these babes, for instance, robbed his ego at every chance they got. If you know, you know that he doesn't give interviews. I mean, as Tara said, you are notoriously known for not backing interviews. Do you guys have any other thing written down except from you don't accept interviews? Like, like anything. Talk about his dog. <laughs> if that's not bad, this chick here was hardcore toasting him, but to no avail. You're a very hard man to catch and people out there would really love to know more about you. No, they wouldn't. You know, you underestimate how much people love you. <laughs> I was thinking I could get your personal number in case you want to come in for another interview. No, I wouldn't. I mean, I, I just think it'll be nice to get to know you a little more. No. We also have this Inena chick that stole her sister's earrings, refused to take money from her sister's boyfriend, and I don't blame her. That guy is known to eat mics. Mm. What's he saying? Did he talk or was he biting her neck? But you know what they say, a lady that refuses money from a man <laughs> is this guy's babe. And because of this, she came late to work on her first day. <laughs> you work for a CEO in Nigeria, you don't come late. Those people are CEOs. Yo. Auntie goes to her office straight from jail or prison, I don't know. And before she could breathe, this man comes inside huffing and puffing. But he just came here to tell them to remove his child from her blog. Oh, you don't know his child? That's her! All you remember is Boy Wonder. And to be honest, is the only reason most of us are watching this show. <laughs> He gave her a check and was planning on giving her more money just to remove his daughter from her blog. And I love how lucrative this line of work is. I think I need to stop doing reviews and just make gist videos. So guys, I'm currently making a video about P-Square and how they might be in the next Big Brother. And oh, Erica is dropping an album next week. <laughs> Who knows, man? We might have another Grammy in Nigeria. I was shocked that Ronti took down the post because her previous self in like the previous season would never do that. And the thing that shocked me is she did not cash the check, she just framed it. And I guess she hates that she has spread so many negativity and I see what the show is going for here. Yeah. Because at the point, you need to ask yourself this question. Are the bloggers really happy or are they a product of their negativity? But hey, <laughs> who cares, guys? <laughs> who cares? P 
this square fort in Lake in the nightclub video coming out next week subscribe the episode ended in a scary way did I try to open this door and bam this happened it was a nice first episode and I think I see where they are going to with Toronto's character. She's like changing and that's good. For this Toju guy, to be honest, he scares me. I'm not going to lie. But my expectations are plain. This guy will make some moves on this innocent Inina chick. This guy will remain this guy and this chick would be my girlfriend. Yes, I said it. So what are expectations? Tell me down in the comment section and would we'll end this video in the words of my mentor, Boy Wonder. Feminist won't see this one. <laughs> I'll ride into the sunset if I ride it with you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Guys, support my Patreon. And your name will be written up here and you'll be able to watch my videos first before any other person. Hours or most times days. And you get like special content that most people don't get um, um, in the Patreon. So yeah, support the Patreon. It's a way to fund my dreams, which is to sell my body. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you're fine. Question of the day. I've not done this in a long time. What bank do you use? <laughs> I use GT and um and First Bank. Uh, I don't know why I, I was thinking hard about it. But it's GT Bank and First Bank. So yes. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys. Alright,